I applied this cheating strategy for more than nine years. It is simple and profitable, and it is tailored for cheating Forex and Gold. It combines multiple time frame analysis, support and resistance levels, and price action patterns. And this strategy does not rely on any technical indicator. In this video, I will show you how I trade Forex with that trading strategy. I prepared for you a recap of my entire trading week from Monday to Friday based on the recordings of live sessions with my students. You will see the entire trading process, from market analysis to trade execution and management. Take notes and let's get started. Here's how my trading week started on Monday. On Monday, I go through my entire watch list and look for the trading opportunities. What is put it on the PM New Zealand pier is that the pier is certainly bearish and the market is trading in a bearish trend since the beginning of May. Recently, we set a new lower low lower close here in a daily. We violated a significant horizontal structure support here, and that was a very important sign of strength of the sellers. Then, as we updated the low here, the market started to correct, and we reached a very important horizontal structure resistance on Friday. And this morning, I was looking for a confirmation to sell the market from that resistance. Here's what I spotted. In the four hour time frame, the first thing to note is that once our resistance was reached, you can see that here we formed a very nice bearish engulfing candle. This bearish candle here engulfed the body of a previous bullish candle, signifying the strengths of the sellers. And that candle here is very important because it was formed after a very impulsive bullish movement. And we can see that, uh, we can see how nicely the market was slowing down, approaching that resistance. Then I spotted one more confirmation on an hourly time frame. On an hourly time frame, I've spotted the double top pattern. You can see that here the market formed a very huge double top and we successfully violated the neckline of the pattern. Then you can see that here the neckline of the pattern also is based on some other structures here. You can see that the neckline is quite wide right here and, and it is based on this infinity horizontal structure. And you can see that that structure here was broken. It was broken, the hourly candle closed below that, and this morning I decided to short the pier on the retest of a broken structure. Yes, I opened the short position from that level, I guess it was even higher somewhere, somewhere here. The entry was, I guess, around uh, to six levels. Stop loss is lying above the highs of the pattern, and initially the market dropped very nicely. And for this trade, I was anticipating a bearish movement at least to the closest horizontal structure support. Here is the support and why take profit is slightly above that structure. So you can see that the pair almost reached the take profit. However, a bullish movement initiated from a bit higher structure level. So I decided to keep holding that trade. You can see that after we tested that level, the market returned back to the entry level, but I decided to keep holding and uh, now I, I'm still anticipating a bearish movement. Also, be because the market is trading in a bearish trend, I guess it is reasonable to anticipate a bearish continuation lower and we can have the second target for the trade based on that support. We have a very strong support right here. So here's how my trading position looks. Let's see how it's going to go. And patience, today, as you know, we don't have any important fundamentals. So most likely we will see more action tomorrow. So be ready to wait. Then let's check New Zealand cat here. New Zealand cat here, I spotted a very bullish setup. If I analyze New Zealand cat pair in a daily time frame, obviously we can spot that the pair is very bullish and we are trading in a strong bullish trend. Recently, the market violated a very significant horizontal structure here. Yes, we have a very important horizontal structure here that was broken with the high momentum bullish candle. We set a new higher, higher, higher close on a daily and then we retraced and we retested the broken structure. Analyzing the reaction of the price to that structure, I spotted on a four hour time frame consolidation. You can see that the market here became very weak and we formed a bullish engulfing candle here on a four hour time frame and on an hourly time frame. You can see that once that structure here was reached, we started 
to consolidate. You can see that the market started to trade within the horizontal range. Here is the range where the price was stuck for a while. And you can see that today we successfully violated the resistance of the range. You can see that hourly candle closed above that. We see the confirmed violation of the neckline of the pattern. And I decided to take a long trade on a retest of a broken support of uh, on a retest of a broken neckline of the range. Stop loss is lying below the lows of the pattern. And I, I anticipate a bullish movement at least to that resistance. We have quite a nice resistance cluster right here. So the initial tar target for the trade will be there and the second target will be at the next strong resistance we have a very important resistance cluster here so this is how the trading setup looks again the trade is active already we got multiple retests of a broken neckline already uh, keep holding the trade anticipating a bullish continuation so on monday we took two trades and we decided to hold the streets overnight and here's what happened on tuesday as you remember yesterday we made a decision to short pound new zealand pair we spotted a double top formation and we opened a short position on a retest of the neckline of the pattern and you can see that at night the pair turned the reveal rush and the market managed to reach the first target for our trade now stop loss is moved to entry now the position is fully protected and uh, we are anticipating a bear rush continuation our next goal for the trade is the next strong support. As you remember, we discussed earlier that the pair is trading in the long-term bearish trend. So we will anticipate a further bearish continuation now and uh, a potential test of 2.0726 level. So let's keep holding. Also yesterday, we made the decision to buy New Zealand cat pair. You remember that we spotted the range here and we spotted the brock out of the neckline of the range it was a very important bullish signal for us then we opened the long position on the retest of a broken neckline and you can see that the market reached the target at night the first target for the trade was reached and we are anticipating a bullish continuation now we are anticipating a further bullish continuation higher to the next strong resistance if we analyze dollar index on a daily time frame we can spot that dollar index is testing a very important horizontal structure resistance you can see that the index is trading in a minor bearish trend since the middle of april and over time we keep setting new lower lows and lower highs recently once we reached that low here from that low we got an impulsive bullish movement and we reached that resistance we even got a breakout attempt of that resistance you can see that here buyers were trying to break that structure but it turned out that the daily candle did not manage to close above that structure so technically speaking that structure here still holds now if we analyze a four hour time frame on a four hour time frame we can spot that after the breakout attempt of that resistance we form here a very peculiar double top formation yes you can see that we formed double top here was the first top here was the second top and you can see that the market violated the neckline of the pattern giving us quite an important bearish clue so here we see our first bearish signal then if we open an hourly time frame we can spot even more peculiar clues here the first thing to note is that here on an hourly time frame the index formed the triangle you can see that we form here the symmetrical triangle formation and the price managed to violate the support of the triangle but the main thing that you should pay close attention to here is a huge gap up you can see that here we have a huge gap and once we see the gap we should always remember that probabilities are very high that 
gap will be filled. And you can see that for now the gap is not filled. And I do believe that the bear rush clues that we discussed so far, the double top formation on a four hour time frame and the symmetrical triangle on an hourly time frame indicate that the market is preparing to fill the gap. So I made a decision to short the index. I shorted the market on a retest of a broken support of the triangle. I set my stop loss above the highs of the pattern and I anticipate the gap to be filled. And the target for the trade will be the gap opening level. Our gap opening level is here. So take profit is slightly above that. Here is the trade. It is quite a risky trade here because definitely we are trading here against a very strong bullish sentiment. But uh, with the gap trades, I strongly believe that even though the trend locally is very bullish, still the market should fill the gap before it will go higher. We kept holding both trades that we took on Monday and also we decided to open a short position on dollar index. Now check how we treat it on Wednesday. First, let's go through the updates. As you remember, traders, we made a decision to short Pound New Zealand pair and I'm happy to see that both targets reached. You can see that yesterday during the New York session the market dropped and our take profit level was reached. Now the trade is closed and I'm happy to see a nice winner here. We also made a decision to buy New Zealand cat here and the market almost reached the target, the second target. You can see that yesterday during the Asian session, we almost reached our target level. And now you can see that the price retreats from a bit lower structure level, but we will keep holding the trade. Do not forget that our stop loss here is already moved to break even the position is now risk-free. And moreover, you can already apply the trailing stop here and move your stop loss to 80 or 216 level. We also made the decision to short dollar index and it feels like here in dollar index we got a very good example of the stop hunting because we spotted here this very bearish pattern. We opened the trading position on the retest of a broken support of a triangle and it feels like you can see that we were stopped out from the trade, but then the market immediately started to fall. And now it is below the entry again. So it feels like the index will keep falling, but we won't re-enter the trade. The trade here is already closed in the loss and I will not open one more trade here. Those are the rules of my trading strategy. Now, this morning I made the decision to buy Euro dollar appear. So this morning I was paying a close attention to euro dollar appear. Obviously, the pair looks very oversold after the strong Bioro Shelley. You can see that the first day we formed a high momentum bearish candle. The next day we also formed a strong bearish candle. But this candle here was weaker than this candle. And here that candle, the third candle, is even weaker. And the thing is that yesterday we reached a very important horizontal structure support. You can see that here we have a very important key level that was reached. And from that key level, I was looking for a confirmation to buy the pair. If we analyze a four hour time frame on a four hour time frame, we can spot a very nice rejection from that support. You can see that even though sellers were trying to push the prices lower, we were rejected from that support. And if we analyze the hourly time frame, on an hourly time frame, we can spot a tiny little double bottom formation here. You can see that the market formed the double bottom. You can see that yesterday during the New York session, the price violated the neckline of the pattern. And this morning I made the decision to buy the pair and a retest of a broken neckline, set stop loss below the lows of the pattern. And here I expect a pullback to our closest support. I think that we have some support very hard to see where is exactly our support here. I think, I think, I think, I think the target for the trade is somewhere here. So the trade for now goes nicely. You can see that the price nicely respected the broken neckline. So we will keep holding the trade. Also remember traders that 
in two hours, we are expecting important U.S. news. We are expecting U.S. inflation data, and this news will be very important for your dollar appear. So 10 minutes ahead of the release of the news, we will move our stop loss to broad even to entry and make our position risk free. We closed one trade in profit. The trade on dollar index was closed in a loss. We kept holding long position on New Zealand cat here, and we also opened a long position on euro dollar. Now check how the London session opened on Thursday after the release of important fundamentals on Wednesday during the New York session. As you remember, we made a decision to short pound New Zealand pair. And the yesterday's fundamentals supported the market and the market dropped even lower. When the market reached our second target on Pound New Zealand, I left very tiny portion of the trade still being active. I guess I left around 10% of the position and the yesterday's fundamentals pushed the prices even lower. So on Pound New Zealand, I managed to make a very, 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 very big profit. Also, New Zealand CAD peer. On New Zealand CAD peer, the release of the Yes, these fundamentals made the pair very bullish. We formed a huge high momentum bullish candle and the market successfully reached the second target for the trade. So we have a very beautiful winner right here and uh, the market even managed to set a new higher high, higher clues here, confirming the strengths of bulls and the bullish trend continuation. So it looks like the market may go even higher. Also, we made the decision to buy euro dollar appear and on the euro dollar appear, the treat perfectly reach the target and uh, again the fundamentals supported the uh, treat yesterday and after the release of the US inflation data yesterday the market reached the goal and then we saw this huge bullish movement huge bullish candle the high momentum bullish candle we made the decision earlier to short dollar index to catch this uh, gap closing treat and as we discussed here, we got the example of the manipulation and of stop hunting. And after we were stop hunted from that trade, the market dropped and filled the gap. And that was very sad. That, that manipulation here is a perfect example how the best technical setup can be beaten by the manipulation and stop hunting. On Friday, usually I have a very short trading day. I start early in the morning before the London session opens and I check the charts during the entire London session before New York session opening. And then I leave. On a live session with my students, we concluded the results and finished the trading work. The combination of multiple time frame analysis, candlestick and price action patterns and support and resistance levels is very powerful. Such a strategy shows a very high accuracy and it works perfectly for scalping, day trading and swing trading. That is the best strategy that I found for Forex trading. I do live trading sessions for my students every day in my trading academy. And if you want to learn how to trade, it will be the best place for you to be. For more info, check the link in the description below. Also, traders, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not forget to watch my other videos.